Hello and welcome to another episode of the Confident Mu Musician Show. You are listening to five pro tips of what to do when you avoid things that you know you should do. My name is Brett Cusack, aka Mega Love, and I'm a musician and confidence coach. And at The Confident Musician, we help musicians to overcome self-doubt and overwhelm and create more confidence than you ever thought possible so you can make music, make a difference, and share your unique talent with the world. All righty, let's jump into our five pro tips today. Number one is, what are you doing instead? Um, you're always on track in a sense. So these are your current priorities. So whatever it is that you're doing instead, when you're avoiding something else is actually what's most important to you. So understanding what is actually important to you is actually really, really important because you're trying to squish yourself into shape, which is impossible. So if you've got a subconscious desire to do, be, or have something in the world, um, it's always gonna be more powerful than what's happening consciously. So you have to acknowledge what is actually happening and what is actually most important to you at the moment. Just checking to see what's happening. Um, alrighty, tip number two is what are you doing instead? No, hang on, that's tip one. Tip number two, match your goals to your values or change your values to match your goals. So it's really important here that you've got to acknowledge that when you've got this priority system and then you're trying to organize your time to do the things that you know you should do is if there is a mismatch between um, your goal and your values or your values and your goals, then we've got to learn how to align them so that you're doing things congruent with what's actually most important to you. So that brings us to tip number three, where we actually list 200 or 20 to 100 uh, benefits of doing the task that you actually want to do. So if something's not important to you and you're not doing it and you should be doing it, um, what we're going to do is here is start to change your value list so that it actually becomes important to you. So by listing benefits, it actually starts to rewire the way you see the world. Hey, Jason, how you going? Um, let us know uh, if you're tuning in um, and what's happening and what you're finding interesting and valuable. Um, when you start to uh, link these benefits, it actually starts to make new connections in your mind to actually see that these things are now on the way instead of in the way. Because um, your brain's primary purpose is to keep you safe. And it looks at life through all of your past experiences, memories, and emotions. And if you've got a strategy that keeps you safe, uh, over the thing that you're trying to do, um, your brain is going to get you on the couch with a pizza and a beer and go woohoo, and then reward you with some really, really cool, uh, happy chemicals like dopamine and serotonin to reward you for keeping yourself safe, uh, which is ne not necessarily the best strategy for a growth uh, in, in the world. So being starting to be aware at tip number three um, by starting to or change the way you see the world um, by linking these benefits is actually going to help you align your goals and change your value system. Tip number four is to make sure whether your task is actually chunked down into small enough bites because you haven't written your first song. It's going to be very difficult to record it. Um, and if you haven't recorded your first song, it's going to be very difficult to release. And if you haven't recorded your first song, it's going to be very difficult to release an album. So making sure that you're chunking down whatever your goal is into manageable bite-sized chunks that you can do today or this week. Um, so I always suggest doing something that if, especially if it's difficult in five minute intervals, whether that's five minutes a week or five minutes a day, um, everybody's going to have a different way of looking at the world. And if you're, um, one of my potential clients. I'm hearing some knocking. I'm not quite sure where that's coming from. Anyway, um, the, the beauties of live music and the beauties of live presenting. Um, and yeah, so if you if something is new, really difficult, set a goal of just spending five minutes on it to start to develop some awareness of it. Um, and then as you become more aware of it and you become more confident in that space, then you can spend more time um, and doing more of it. Um, so yeah, five minutes to three hours a day or a week, depending on what's happening in your world. Um, and uh, yeah, tip number five is to find somebody who has already done it and ask them for help. So 
you may have started to realize that there may be some problems behind the problems that you don't quite understand what's happening in your internal world. And that's why I've created my latest course, which is called Confidence and Happiness Secrets for Musicians. And you can get it on the link in the description for this video. Um, alrighty, so let's recap our five pro tips of what to do um, when you're avoiding things you know you should do. Tip number one is what are you doing instead? Because this is actually what's most important to you. Um, and you're always on track with whatever's most actually important to you. So um, when you actually stop and actually acknowledge what you're actually doing, this is actually gonna make you become aware of what your current priorities are. Uh, and then once you know what your priorities are, this is your value system or your value list and how you see the world. Um, tip number two is to make sure that your goals and your priorities are aligned. Um, and then if not, then we need to change the values to match the goals or the goal to match the values. Um, and so for a lot of people in their 30s and 40s when they used to play heaps of music in their teens and 20s, uh, but now are trying to get back into music, they might have a, an important job and, um, and family. And so those things, you're actually spending time there and uh, just being realistic about what's happening in your world and actually going, actually, no, my, my job and providing for my family is, is much more important than actually being creative. And actually either um, acknowledging that that's what's happening for you uh, and then also getting some support to change your priorities to actually get back into doing those things. And both of those situations are possible. Um, you just gotta make sure that you've got your priority list in the right order. Um, tip number three is to list 20 to 100 benefits of doing the task. And this will help move it up your priority list uh, to change your values um, so that you can then see whatever the task is as on the way instead of in the way. So whatever's what happening, if you're avoiding something, it's just cause it's not that important to you. And you you just got to be realistic um, and either you're it's just not that important to you or you're just being really impatient that you're thinking something's going to happen much quicker than it actually will. Tip number four is, is it chunked down into small enough bites? What is something that you can do today within a five minute time frame if it's something new, difficult or challenging? Uh, up to three hours and you know what is realistic for you and you know at the end of the day it's all about consistency and doing something repeated over a long period of time just like learning the guitar um, just like songwriting all of these things require time and effort tip number five is to find somebody who's already done it and ask them for help so if you are curious about how i got 31 songs on spotify uh, i think i've released um, in all my collaborations over the years about 76 songs um, then please book a Q&A call with me on the link in the description and uh, we can have a chat about what your challenges are and what you would love help with and see if we're the right fit. Alrighty, if you've enjoyed this video, please let us know in the comments what you found useful, valuable or interesting. And if you know somebody else who is avoiding things that they know they should do, uh, please tag them in this video or share it with them in a DM. I've absolutely loved this and um, I hope you have too. And I will see you on the next video. Until next time, make music, make a difference. My name is Brett Cusack aka Mega Love, and I'm a confidence coach for musicians and I will see you on the next video catch you later bye bye